Let's talk the iPhone 15 Plus versus the Galaxy S23 Plus. And you're wondering, okay, this is a camera comparison in Thunder. Yes, this is a very different one for you guys uh, because I will be showcasing it in different ways, doing some plane spotting. And also, honestly, I'm actually out attending a buddy's wedding. It's my buddy here on the far right. Big shout out to him. Just want to give a shout out. And this image was taken with the iPhone 15 Plus. Uh, and it looks really solid. It's a very solid image. So how does it compare against the S23 Plus? Now, S23 Plus, you can see, it feels a little bit blown out at the back. The iPhone looks like a better image, but the skin tones, I prefer that on the S23 Plus. Again, here in 2X, it's the same thing. A little bit more blown out at the back. You can see the iPhone, especially my button in the right, he's trying to compensate, he's making him look much darker. Now, this is a 3X image from the S23 Plus, and I think it overall looks better. It's a little bit on the lighter side, but it, I like the skin complexion. Front-facing camera. Now, this is the only photo I took. It's a busy weekend, you know how that goes. Um, I like the image here on the Galaxy. I think the iPhone just is too dark and tries to darken everything up between my sunglasses. Uh, now this, uh, okay, look, <laughs> the image on the left looks like, it, it looks terrible to me. Uh, this was indoors while having having dinner, uh, actually during the daytime, but the Galaxy image looks just much better. You can see each individual piece, the meats, the vegetables, the beads, all of them stand out. Everything is just much darker on the iPhone image. Now, walking down the strip was very interesting just to see this because you've got a very shiny building and those lens flares do come in on the iPhone 15 Plus. I just wanted to see what that would entail in terms of just imaging and image capture, especially when you're just recording, you know, sightseeing or anything like that. It makes the most sense. So we're going into some nighttime video and this is in the car. And as you can see, one's brighter, one's darker. The iPhone really brightens up much more. The Galaxy is darker, but still keeps a lot of that tone balance, if you will. It's quite an interesting image. I think both of them work, but I wanna hear your thoughts by the end of this video, guys. What do you guys think it, it stands? Now, that's a sphere, and that sphere is bright. <laughs> it is super bright. Um, and both images look really good. You can see the iPhone still tends to be a brighter image over the Galaxy, but I think I like what they've both done here, um, especially just focusing on the sphere. And we're gonna be seeing more of that sphere later because we're taking a journey up something pretty high. And I'm talking about, of course, the Ferris wheel in, in Vegas, right? Now, this image is interesting because you can see how well the iPhone keeps the clouds black. Again, this is different uh, zoom lens, one's ultra wide. The, the Galaxy tries to make it brighter, but you can see that causes a lot of just light spill into the image while the iPhone feels just much more balanced. So that is something I think a lot of people will like with the iPhone imagery. Even in this case here, just walking down the street here, uh, you can see that. Going into this building, I wanna show you a couple of different video shots. This is with the Galaxy here and it looks pretty nice. The iPhone, once I start stepping, there's some jitteriness, especially with stabilization. So I'm not sure how that changes on the 15 and I'm just gonna go back to a similar shot taken with the Galaxy here. And you can see the Galaxy is more balanced, less jitteriness, but also still pretty clean. Now, this is of course a very bright scenario here. So the iPhone 15 Plus does a really good job. And as we wait and kind of run through again, you can see some of just that bouncy jitteriness uh, of the camera. Honestly, the view up here is great. And if you're in Vegas, you should try it out. Uh, it's pretty cool. It takes about 45 minutes or so. Uh, the Galaxy does a good job capturing, of course, a lot of the buildings, but you can see some of those neon lights kind of, you know, kind of they kind of flare out a little bit just a little bit, but it's still fine. Uh, okay, look, I have to get Mortal Kombat 1. I think that is something, this is calling me, and it's telling me that, hey, get the game, and I've been playing a lot of Street Fighter 6, but this looks absolutely gorgeous. The iPhone 15 Plus captures this really well. You can see the color separation, especially from the blue and the purple side, so that's actually pretty good. Uh, and also the Galaxy does a fairly decent amount here, but you can see there's a lot of blinking in between the two colors, and honestly, I it's kind of hard for them to clean those things, but you can see how well it bleeds in between. Now, this one was interesting looking at both side by side, the sphere. So while the Galaxy kept a much darker tone around the background, the iPhone still kind of brightened up 
just the buildings around, but also kept a really clear separation between each color spiral compared to the Galaxy where it felt a little bit more blended. So the iPhone did a good job capturing here. And this was one was uh, where we kind of punched in uh, with the lenses. You can see it's darker around, but again, both of the sphere look really good in video. Um, and as we kind of punch out a little bit more, you're gonna see how it differs with the background. You see how the iPhone lines it up while the Galaxy doesn't. The Galaxy does a much better job on the ultra wide, I think, over the iPhone. But again, they are pretty close when it comes to those video capabilities at night. This photo here, again, you can see the light bleed in the sky while there's less on the iPhone, uh, on the Galaxy. Same thing here with the cars underneath the, uh, the bridge there. So uh, a lot of light bleed on the Galaxy image over the iPhone. And then some nighttime video just walking. See, I kind of like the way the exit sign looks on the Galaxy there. It's a bit darker, but also matches the color because it was black. While every, the iPhone lightens up the whole scene overall, making it a brighter, and more effective a video to look at. But you know, the, the Galaxy still keeps kind of like an even tone. There's better white balance correction on the iPhone than the Galaxy. Walking out on the strip, you can see some of that jitteriness on the iPhone with the video, but we haven't heard audio yet from the device. So let's listen to the iPhone 15 Plus audio. <laughs> Honestly, that sounded pretty good, especially just walking down the street and capturing. So, you know the iPhone 15 Plus will give you some really good audio just capturing off the street, but let's go ahead and just kind of look at both videos in this kind of environment. Well-lit well street, there's a lot of lights from buildings. The iPhone has a very bright motif, the Galaxy does not. As you can see, the Galaxy feels, I like the kind of colors from the Galaxy, it feels a bit muted, more balanced there, compared to the iPhone where red, feels a little bit just washed out a little bit on the iPhone than the Galaxy, but still solid overall. Now, we haven't heard audio from the Galaxy itself, uh, so let's listen to how the Galaxy S23 Plus sounds uh, as we pass by the Razer store. Pretty good stuff, not bad. Uh, but have you ever seen so much Pez dispensers in your life? Honestly, this was quite interesting and uh, uh, you can find almost any kind of Pez dispenser you want. But using the iPhone to record in this kind of manner, kind of quick and snappy, especially in the well-lit environment, the 15 Plus does a good job. So you can see I'm kind of moving around, I'm kind of picking and choosing different things to look at and it still stays steady uh, and especially in a well-lit environment, it does a good job. So you walk around, you're not getting a jittery video of any sort. And you can kind of do that casual recording, especially whether you're visiting or sightseeing to say, oh, I'm seeing this, I'm seeing that. Let's take a look at it. Let's kind of pan around and still works out well. So going down the street, I opted to use the iPhone 15 Plus uh, because it's well lit and that will provide me better stabilization here. And also, um, one thing to note, don't let uh, street performers grab you in Vegas. It's just, just a trap, just don't do it. Uh, skip away from that. But the ultra wide camera on the iPhone 15 Plus does a good job here and kind of zooming in. And here I dropped down the ISO a little bit just to give something a little bit more cinematic and cool of the iPhone 15 Plus and it kind of shows, I kind of like it. Uh, something you can do with the camera quite well. Now, auto imagery here, you can see that the Galaxy is trying to brighten up the image. The iPhone keeps a bit darker. This comes to personal preference uh, here. I do like uh, the way the iPhone kind of just dims down that pink flamingo, flamingo sign a little bit than the Galaxy, but still really solid images. Same here again, you can see some of that light bleed on the Galaxy over the iPhone, and likewise with the Paris sign uh, overall. Now, it was a fun trip, and this I found quite interesting because the Galaxy just looked much balanced, especially with that super bright neon sign there over what the iPhone wants doing uh, overall. But Vegas is a really fun place, and I think, you know, uh, there's a lot to see and do there. Um, by the way, Formula One is coming to Vegas, so that is pretty awesome. Tickets are mad expensive, which means I will not be there. But the whole place has been redone, the streets have been kind of remapped, 
Uh, they put in stands all over the place and it's time for me to just catch a flight and check out So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video Let me know what you think about the iPhone 15 plus versus the s23 plus Which is the better device? Do you like what the iPhone 15 plus s23 plus does leave your thoughts down below? Don't forget to like share subscribe and always enjoy your entertainment